Here we are at beautiful Jun Juniper Juniper Springs Campground, just east of Big Bear. It's a beautiful day. I think it's in like the 60s, maybe the 70s up here. We came for a ride because we had the KTM 390 Adventure that we tested last month. And uh, Ryan Adams tested the 790 Adventure a month or two before that. And I was so impressed with, with the 390. I thought it might be cool to ride the two of them back to back. Uh, to see if you really need, need to spend twice as much money for the, the 790. That's the Adventure R. It's a little bit more than twi twice the money. Actually, it's an excuse to go to the office and go for a ride, really. So, uh, I think on, 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 on the freeway where we spent like 45 minutes to get here this morning, you probably want the 790 because it runs a little smoother. It's a little more plush. The seat's a little bit thicker. It's just it's just a bigger bike, and that's nice when you're on the when you're on, on the road. After we got to Highway 38, it was also nice because it's a pretty steep climb, and the extra power the 790 has can kind of leave the 390 in its dust when it wants to. But um, when the road gets curvy again, the 390 really closes up. It's all about uh, power to weight ratio. The, the 790's got tons of power. But it's got quite a bit more weight than, than, than the 390, which I think weighs 60 pounds less. I think what 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 is the what, what's the 790 make for horsepower, Ryan? It's right around 100 horsepower. He says it makes right around 100 horsepower in the. That's what it was on the dyno. The 390 is like uh, 37 or 40, I think. We actually had a problem when we tried to put it on the dyno the other day. It makes like tw 28 foot pounds of torque at some point. Okay. And the 790 makes a lot more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I don't know. I think the the torque delivery is pretty constant on the 790, yep. whereas the 390, what it seemed like out here on the street and in the dirt, it's got some grunt down low, and then some once you rev it out pretty high. But it's kind of not really there in the middle. You don't you, you, you don't care care for it. It's, it's mid range. Not really. For lack thereof. I think that the gearbox it doesn't have the quick shifter like the 790 has, but it seems like it shifts so good. I, I don't mind using the gearbox a little bit more on the thing. Yeah, it doesn't quite have the mid range, but you can leave it in second gear a lot too. Yeah, and I, second I and third gear. You just kept it in second yeah, the whole you time. Just it out. Oh. And it works pretty. I mean, <laughs> yeah. for being being the small, as small as it is, you'd think it's like a like a KLR 250 or something yeah. used to be that you'd have to you know drop it in the first all the time, but you don't really have to do that. It it chugs right along too. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. Uh, how'd, you, how'd you feel about the suspension on the 390 compared to the bigger, twice as expensive one? Uh, I think I think it's kind of night and day between these two as far as that's concerned. Because yeah. the 390, it's like, it, it's kind of the idea of the whole bike, you know. It, if you keep the speeds low, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. But as soon as you start ramping up, yeah. you know, there's a good chance. Uh, like, I'm 175 pounds and I hit the skid plate pretty quick uh, here. But it does take oh. little jumps just fine. Yep. Just kind of depends on how fast you're going and what you're going over. Yeah, so this the, the 390 has got a, a, a 41 millimeter Explorer fork and your well, so no, this, 790. So the 790 has got the Explorer fork, the uh, WP Explorer stuff. This is the WP Apex. This is the Apex, I take it back. It is adjustable though, so that's nice. It is adjustable on top of the fork tubes, compression and rebound damping. This is the big daddy, the Explorer now. fork on here. <laughs> really does this thing really does so soak up bumps like you can be kind of lazy and just sit in the plush saddle on here and twist the grip and go we'll uh have more to say later on in the day we just got started Nice little ride today on our 390 and 790 Adventure R KTMs winding up at Babbling Brook. You hear babbling? Maybe not so much. Our sound might not be so good today. We left Sean Maddock behind. He can't he can't go to places we're going on these adventure bikes. For God's sake, man. We went to went to Pioneer Town from Big Bear. It was a nice little ride. It wasn't a hugely challenging thing, but it was a nice little uh, sample of the kind of riding people will do on these motorcycles on the freeway out. We'll have to hit the freeway to get home, like 45 minutes each way. Some rocky mountainous trails, fire roads, smooth trails, followed at the very end by some deep sand, which just, I, I don't like the sand, is no fun. But um, we, we managed to stay upright. 
I was a huge fan fan of the 390 Adventure. Kind of been a little bit harder in the company the 790 Adventure R. Uh, the bloom is off. It's an expensive little rose, just a little bit. It's not, you know, it, it is lightweight, so it's easy, easy to ride, easy to stop. The Adventure R is kind of bigger, taller when you stop, but. It's got such great electronics and such great suspension rocks that kind of knock the little 390 off its line, kind of. Maybe the trail dictates a little bit more where this bike's going. On the 790, you just say, we're going there. And it just it just goes there with its electronics and its better suspension. But it does cost over twice as much. It's like the little ride Adam said too, the harder you ride, if you just want to plonk along like me, last time I came out, on this motorcycle was kind of going pretty slow but um ryan encourages us to go faster and harder and the faster you go the more this thing gets a little bit overwhelmed a little bit uh less suspension travel than the, than the bigger one i'm just gonna bottom out a little more the harder you go but if you're just gonna gonna plonk along it re really doesn't matter this one's so nice if you got short legs when you come to a stop it's easy to put your foot down and turn around and go back the other way etc for the ride out here, I think you already expressed, yeah, you're better off on, on the bigger one. It's just got more power to deal with traffic and, you know, more, more road hugging weight in the wind. Kind of breezy today. You need to read Evans's brass field guide on how to ride in the wind. So yeah, John had a good idea putting these two things together, the 790 and the 390 Adventure from KTM. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, it's a cool way to get uh, these bikes out and see what, kind of person might want the 390 for me I think John came back from a trip riding both of these and said uh, the 390 is just as good as the 790 oh I don't think that's exactly what I said <laughs> which I thought to myself sounds ludicrous but uh, turns out it was <laughs> but the 390 adventure is also a really fun bike I think for for people that aren't looking to go fast off-road the 390 Adventure is going to be just fine. It's a great bike, it's fun on the pavement, and it's fun off-road, as long as you're not pushing it too fast. I mean, once you speed up, that's kind of when you start blowing through the, all of the suspension stroke. You probably are gonna bottom it out. I bottomed it out a few times today. Depends on the terrain, of course, and, and your speed, but otherwise, it's a lot of fun. So if you're a new rider, great bike for a new rider. If you're uh, an older rider, and you're just looking to get something that's comfortable to ride off road, ride on some trails, fire roads and stuff like that, 390 is a great bike for it. Uh, that being said, if you're a performance minded individual and there is a huge gap between these two motorcycles, but the 790 Adventure R is in my opinion, probably the best adventure bike on the market for someone who is really looking to pound their bike off road. Um, the suspension's fantastic. The way it puts down the power is awesome. The electronics package is great. It's, it's a really great all-around package for people that are looking for getting the most off-road performance out of their adventure bike. So it's cool getting these two back to back and seeing what KTM has to offer and how the two differ. But yeah, that's kind of where I see these two ending up. The 390, I think also jumping from the 790 to the 390 adventure, you kind of realize how how much the riding position is a little bit cramped especially when you stand up because on the 790 it's set up really well like you know a dirt bike would be you have a big open cockpit you have a lot of room to move around there um, when you stand up I'm 5'8 and when I stand up on the 390 adventure I feel pretty cramped like I'm having to lean over a lot maybe some risers would help out with that maybe a different bar the entire kind of rider triangle when you're standing feels pretty pretty cramped and it kind of puts you in an awkward position which can feel a little awkward when you're going down a bumpy trail so that's something between the two but again maybe you wouldn't notice it as much if you're just on the 390 but if you're a taller guy taller than 5'8 it's just going to you know it's going to be more so mm -hmm. keep that in mind mm -hmm. for the seven thousand dollars you save though because you get get the 390 and strap all the 790 suspension bits onto it and things <laughs> and then you'd be looking about an eight thousand <laughs> dollar the best of both there needs to be a bit be, be a, four, a 490 yeah there needs to be a 500 exc yeah, we could oh, call it yeah that's a good no, idea maybe a 500 that. exc yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, it seemed like it was a good excuse to get out of, out of the office for a day, I felt like. Definitely. I thought I had, like, for the <laughs> kind of ride that we just did, yeah. like, we didn't go, we left my house at, like, 9 o'clock. We had had a, had a, 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 a leisurely breakfast. Yeah. And we got to where we were going by, by 2 two o'clock. And it wasn't, like, 
we weren't really messing around. It was like a nice day's ride, but mm -hmm. we weren't we weren't trying to set any records or anything like that. On, on the 790, if you wanted to set a record, you probably could. <laughs> yeah. You probably couldn't on, on the 390, but the 390 so for half as much money is not far behind it on the kind of road that ride that we did today. Yeah. Fire roads, rocky fire roads. You probably don't want to attack the Paris D Dakar on the 390. <laughs> Still a lot of fun. It's still a lot of fun. The pace a little bit lower than you can on the uh, 790. Yeah, yeah. The other bikes in the th in the 390s class. What did we decide they were last time? Versus yeah, 300. Mean, yeah, the versus versus 300 X300 X. CRF 250L Honda. Yeah, the G310 BMW. Yeah, yeah. How does the the Duke stack up to to those motorcycles? The think? adventure. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Honestly, uh, I was a little. I'm not that big of a fan of the motor on uh, the 390 uh, Adventure, uh, and the 300X, the Versus, uh, is super smooth engine, uh, so that's good. Maybe we'll see a 400 model of that sometime uh, in the future. I don't uh, know, but uh, I think as far as, you know, th this does have a TFT, and it does have switchable traction control and ABS, and those other bikes don't have any of that. The, uh, the other bikes, I think, in the category that we just mentioned, are a little more bare bones, whereas the KTM, you do have adjustable yep. suspension, you have the electronics, you have the TFT. Yep. It's just a little bit at a different level. Yeah, I, I don't think any of those other bikes would have been as happy on those rocky trails we were on today yeah. as the KTM was. Yeah. Even it's not, it's pretty tough to, because you just admitted the 790 is like the best adventure bike going. So to ride it back to back with one that costs less than half as much is kind of a trial by fire yeah. for, for, for the little bike. Right, I mean, I was able to pass you on the 390. Yeah, you know, while I was when I was testing, but that's what that's when I was testing the brakes on yeah. the on the 790, which are having a problem. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, good day. Fun it was day. a good day. I had a lot of fun. It's yeah. not over yet because we get to slog an hour home on I-10. Yeah. But at least there's no traffic because of the pandemic. Right. <laughs> yeah. So uh, read more about it on motorcycle.com. We'll have uh, John's poetic words over there and. Um, Thanks for watching, guys. Some pictures. Maybe we'll have some some, some photos. Maybe. I don't know. There's not, not going to be many. A photo or two, There's yeah. not going to be that many of them. It is work, huh? All right. Ah. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Bye. We're out.